Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and the Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a general love tarot reading for all of my Sagittariuses who are watching. First and foremost, I do want to say happy Sagittarius season to all of my Sagittarius sons watching this. I do hope you feel loved and appreciated as always, but especially during your season Sagittarius. So a general happy birthday and happy Sagittarius season to all of my Sagittarius sons watching this. But if you also, uh, excuse me, if you also have Sagittarius as your moon rising Venus or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you, Sagittarius. So, in your reading today, what I'll be doing here is channeling any energy in regards to love that is making its way towards you. This energy may already be in your life currently here. But let's go ahead and officially begin and get started, Sagittarius. First, we're just going to start out with our tarot portion. If needed, I will pull some oracle cards as well. But let's just get a general vibe of what we have taking place for you, Sagittarius, when it comes to love. Can we please receive a couple messages or cards for Sagittarius, please, when it comes to their energy? Who's this person that is making their way towards Sagittarius? We do have the Ten of Wands as our first card to come out. So, Ten of Wands for Sagittarius. What do we need to know about this Ten of Wands energy taking place? for Sagittarius at this time. We have the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Wands. All right, what else do we need to know? Let's clarify the Ten of Wands and the Ace of Wands for Sagittarius. What is making its way towards Sagittarius? Let's take from the bottom here, but the Star card, let's just see what this card is, the Chariot. I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of those. Um, but, of course, let's go ahead and pull some more cards, please, for my Sagittarius's. What else do we need to know? Eight of Pentacles. And let's go ahead and pull one more card, please, for Sagittarius. What else do we need to know? Okay, so next we do have the King of Pentacles. All right, Sagittarius. So, as a recap, we do have the Ten of Wands. Ace of Wands, the Chariot, the Star, and then the Eight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. So Sagittarius, I do feel like you're you're leaving a part of your life behind or a part of yourself. Something is changing for you, Sagittarius, and I feel like for yourself you needed that change. It's like the feeling of knowing that there's so many different things, new experiences, better environments for us out there. And we know about it, but we want to actually experience it, experience it Sagittarius. So I feel like this change, you feel like it's calling you or it's pulling you or it's what's needed to be done. Your intuition is speaking to you Sagittarius. And this could be what you've always wanted to happen or you've had your mind set on this for some time, but you were trying to cover your tracks, cover your bases. Perhaps the situation that you were in, it would take a lot for you to get out of it. But I feel like you're, you're doing what's needed to be done, Sagittarius. It's like you're leaving behind the past and you're embarking on this new journey. And although it's calling you or you feel passionate about it that doesn't mean that it's so easy it's um it's going to be an easy journey and i feel like you know that it's not sagittarius but the reward is worth the risk it's worth the work so ten of wands your energy sagittarius and what you're being called towards is the ace of wands Something that ignites that fire within, something that sparks your passion, something that you are 
uh, passionate about Sagittarius. And I, I feel like this is transformational for you, Sagittarius. This could also mean, since this is a love reading, soulmate energy, or just divine timing, your divine counterpart, just everything fitting, everything coming into place. We have the chariot. The chariot is ready to go. It's ready to take off and it's ready to do something different that you have never done before, Sagittarius. You know how you feel. You know what you have. Um, you know who you are. Like you're confident. You're emotionally prepared for whatever it is. But you're just ready to go for it, Sagittarius. So we have the, the chariot en energy or card, which is also cancer energy, excusing Sagittarius. And then we also have the star card. So things falling into place, that soulmate energy, divine timing. It's like wishing on a star and that wish comes true. Or you look at or you look up in the sky one day or one night and you see a shooting star and you're like, is that what it is? And you just place a wish on it and then everything unfolds how you wanted it to so i feel like there's this journey of self-growth self-reflection but also coming into what really feels like home sagittarius we have the eight of pentacles i feel like this period for yourself you're learning you're working on your skills your hobbies your techniques you're bringing abundance within you're trying to harbor abundant sagittarius and I feel like with the King of Pentacles energy, this could, of course, be someone coming towards you. But not only with that Eight of Pentacles energy, you're gaining knowledge, you're gaining wisdom. But I feel like just feeling like this was destined to be, you you also feel like you're, you're a better version of yourself. And I wanted to relate that into feeling more mature about things, feeling more confident in the choices that you make because of this wisdom you have, Sagittarius. But once again, the star card, also Ace of Wands, King of Pentacles, that could be a new relationship coming towards you, Sagittarius. Let's see what else we need to know here, please. For Sagittarius, what other energy do we have taking place, please? Next card is the Knight of Pentacles. So let's go ahead and clear the clarify the knight of pentacles in reverse please okay ten of pentacles in reverse as well let's see what this is the hangman all right knight of pentacles ten of pentacles the hangman let's clarify this energy further for sagittarius knight of swords all right, what's coming towards Sagittarius with the Knight of Swords, please? Nine of Pentacles. And I'll move this spread a bit. Um, I'll reorganize the spread so you all can see it better. In a moment, we have the Nine of Pentacles for Sagittarius. What else do we have? We have the Seven of Wands. I'm not even showing that, but the Seven of Wands, Sagittarius. So let's go ahead. I will pull some advice cards as well, Sagittarius, but let's get through with what we have because I do feel like there is someone who is interested in you, Sagittarius, someone who is making their way towards you, but it's like you're not so interested in them. Could feel like the right person, but wrong time. Doesn't even have to be that. I feel like you're just focused on yourself, Sagittarius. You're not looking to jump into anything stable. And this because, or this could be due to you feeling like you've been in a relationship with someone for years and it's held you back from what you wanted to do and you're not trying to feel restricted or restrained here because it's, it is like this person king of pentacles energy they know what they want they know what they're looking for that's something stable that's something steady here but with the knight of pentacles in reverse ten of pentacles it's like it looks good but do i really want it do I can support what this person wants. I can also support who they are because they are a respectable person. But is it for me? It's one thing to like something. It's another thing to love it, Sagittarius. So I feel like you're, you're looking at this love offer in that way because this person does want something steady, something on board. But with what you're trying to do, Sagittarius, which is explore these options that you have, I feel like you're not for it. 
you don't want to pick up something that comes together all at once or maybe you're you're open to that but with the hangman energy it's like i'm I'm still observant. I'm still learning from this. I'm not looking to get into anything committed right away still. Because Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, it's like... I I support the idea, but I don't want to be involved. Hopefully that makes sense, Sagittarius. And I, I also feel like you know that there is something right around the corner that's coming quickly. Could be someone else, Sagittarius, but... We have the Knight of Swords, which, which is the fastest knight in the deck. So very impulsive energy. And perhaps you do sense that this King of Pentacles person is flighty. They're not so much uh, trustworthy. Like, there's something about them. So, yeah, I feel like, Sagittarius, you're just sorting through your options right now. Because you know what you want. And you also know that it's right it's within reach Sagittarius so it's no need to act out of a scarce mindset or scarcity scarcity if I'm pronouncing that right like your options are not about to run out it'll keep coming towards you whatever is meant for you will not pass you by and seven of wands just protecting your peace your energy so yeah with that being said Sagittarius there could be that love offer coming towards you but I feel like you're turning the opposite way from it Let's go ahead and receive some more cards for Sagittarius, please. Following this energy, we have the Empress, which is Taurus and Libra energy. The Empress, what else do we need to know here? Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles, one more card, please. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, so... Yes, Sagittarius, what we'll do here is take these cards as advice. So we have the Empress, the Five of Pentacles, and Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like for you, you're aware of your power, your potential, your superpowers, your strength, how you can create and attract. You are the Empress, so there's no need to all of a sudden make an impulsive decision because you feel like that's the only thing that you'll get that's not the case Sagittarius because when we rush sometimes we we make decisions that aren't really suitable or they don't resonate with us long term and I feel like you're aware of that because we have the five of pentacles you may have recently left something that was controlling Sagittarius which is why it took a lot for you to leave here but you knew it was worth it ace of wands so it's like you're not trying to backtrack. Five of Pentacles is you have those options, but you, you may not feel motivated to explore them. But it's it's right in front of you still. So you don't want anyone to stop what you have going on for yourself or get in the way of how you feel. And also slow you down, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Seven of Pentacles upright, like you know that it takes time to get to the point where you want to be, but... When you add extra ingredients to something, it could make it taste off. It could just ruin the whole recipe. The growth might not be the same, Sagittarius. So I feel like you are taking your time. Um, you're, you're not trying to be controlled. And Sagittarius, your symbol is the arrow. And you're free to go wherever you want. So just not having that emotional attachment to attachment to anyone just yet we're gonna pull some situations oracle cards sagittarius just in case any energies do resonate we have nightlife gamble take a risk vegas nightlife for sagittarius what else do we need to know please we have nightlife we also have history past happened all right and one more card please and that is receipts proof show me so of course Sagittarius take those messages how they resonate for you but let's see what signs may be relevant our first sign will be Virgo Capricorn and one more sign please for my Sagittarius is Capricorn again so Virgo Capricorn Virgo and Leo all right, Sagittarius. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today, as always. I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.